Okay. Day six. We've got uh, we got some nasties going on downstairs. I'll show you guys what I did in a second, but let's uh, let's clear up the nasties that survived the morning chime. All right, you guys know I'm out here. Come on. Let me shove my stick in your face. You know you want to. Okay, two mini bobinis down. We are doing good. Let me show you guys what I did last night. All right, we're gonna go up here. Um, what did Jen describe my box as in the comments? He called it a hovel. My base, a hovel? Rude. His house has a corner ripped off of it. Come on. Okay, so as per usual, I started making my box because you know me, I like to play in my box, if you know what I mean. And I set up some handy dandy storage crates to get better organized. Obviously, put my potted plant down because we all have priorities. And uh, I've been smelting iron arrowheads to make a juicy amount of iron arrows. I don't have any wood though, so... We're just going to wait on that. I have 31 to sort of last me for now. Anyway, today's the day. Today, we need to build some kind of horde base. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Guys, I'm bad at horde bases. I really am. I can't think of clever ones or smart ones. There's a reason why I do not do base videos on this channel, because I'm, I'm just so terribly bad at it. All right, I'm going to maybe start the day until the trader opens, just chopping down a bunch of trees because we're going to need a lot of wood. Now, downside to cutting trees in the wasteland, I didn't get any seeds. I have no idea how we're going to replace this other than maybe finding a seed kind of in a POI because there was that real tree in that gas station POI. If you guys remember it, it was kind of green and beautiful. Uh, Jen's base is right there. I figure I was originally going to put my happy place here, but yeah, Jen sort of pissed all over it and put his own goddamn base in my area. So I'm going to call this the base location and perhaps I'll build my little base here as well. Now I have absolutely zero idea how to build a base. I really don't. I'm sure bad things are going to happen. But we're going to do our best. I'm going to build like one of those very popular, I believe it was Primate Games who had suggested it, like the floating base. I don't necessarily know if this is a horde base or if it's just supposed to be like a sort of base that you live in. Because the goal is that they kind of can't reach you. But what I think I might do... All right, like this doesn't have to be big, does it? I don't know, how big does one's base need to be? What I might do is kind of build it. I'm super close to Jen. But in a, instead of putting blocks on the top, I'll put like a frame of blocks around it. And then what I'll do is I'll put bars and I'll stand on the bars and shoot down as the zombies, you know, try to figure out exactly how they can get me. This may not work, guys. I pff, I don't know. I feel like, first of all, I feel like this base isn't going to be high enough off the ground, but that could just be me. I also am unsure if uh, the Fun Pimps have totally debunked this concept to make it stop working. So we'll just have to science it to find out. Can you can you go up on the block, please? Yeah, okay. C come on. It's not that hard. Is it not letting me place it? I placed it there. Can I continue to place all around? I just want to kind of get to the lip. All right, there we go. Okay, so you get the general idea. I'm going to stand up here with my gun. Pow, pow, McPow, pow. We're going to kill all the zombies. Now, before you guys scream in the comments, the birds, the birds. Yes, I know the birds. I know. I, you know, I shouldn't, shouldn't say that. I don't want to discourage you guys from commenting and giving me advice because sometimes I don't remember things. So keep doing that. But I'm going to build like some kind of cage or hut or house so that the birds can't get me. Um, but yeah, the trader did open. I'm going to go and return my quest, grab another one, because we still have questing to do to get that bicycle. Jen is like already mountains ahead of me because he has a bike. Now, in the comments of the last video, you guys did express a lot of like, oh my god, you sold your wheel, you sold the wheel. I did sell the wheel, I did. But guess what? I found two more. It did not take me very long to find additional wheels. Did Jen not loot this place? Did he, like, leave shit around for me to loot? Did he just, like, leave senseless crap all around the place? What is going on here? Wow, I didn't think Shotgun you had shells or bar brawling? When in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. I'll go shotgun shells. I plan on punching absolutely no zombies. Uh, old Victorian house. Have I done this one already? But 
I believe you can I mean, I could have. I know I did some kind of old Victorian house, but I don't 100% remember. I'm going to go run and do that POI. I kind of want to space out the day. Since we're so close to Trader Gem with our base, we can kind of go to a POI, come back, diddle our base a little bit, keep it spicy, keep the episode interesting. So far, I, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a little overconfident or watching Jen play with his terrifying zombies is making me feel a little less afraid to be out in the wilds. Oh god, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm gonna eat some fat. I didn't take any food with me because, you know, we can't all be pros. It has been a while since I've done this quest, so I don't 100% remember a lot about this. Is this the house that's in the burnt biome? I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like this is that house. I am gonna do my looting as I go. I've been really enjoying that kind of play style. I feel like it gives a lot more of a natural, ouch, momentum through in the entire episode, which is kind of cool. Hopefully we find some food in here because uh, I'm a hungry muffin. I have not seen any zombies on this level. I think they're in here. I love how when I start sneaking in this game, my voice, oh, fuck me, he's right there. My voice gets like quieter. Oh God, I think this is my first time ever playing with a wooden bow over just a primitive bow. So it's gonna be so slobbery. God, my growling stomach is gonna be the thing that gives away our position. All right, I think the upstairs is clear. Let's loot it. Ooh, repair kit. And I'm gonna dig up the cobblestone. The more cobblestone I can dig up, the less I have to craft. And I vote that that is, that is pro gameplay right there. Before I get going into this POI further, I do have a point. Last night I threw a point into, uh, what did I throw it into? Minor 69er just to help with block damage because I was kind of beating down blocks. I think I'm gonna put a point into Master Chef so I can like make bacon and eggs and stuff like that. Now the point of doing that is it was brought to my attention that there are other animals in this game like there's animals in the way like not just wasteland like you have snakes of course but then you also have uh pigs and pois you know stuff like that so there is definitely opportunities to have more meat and i don't want to be starving to death all the time like i currently am this being said i haven't had too much trouble looting enough food to sustain me so we'll see it could have been a wasted point like i mean i could find the book that gives me all that uh, cooking recipes as I loot, which is another possibility. Another thing that was brought to my attention was crafting padded armor. So I was all gung ho to do this, but it requires duct tape. And I have duct tape. I can make duct tape with bones and stuff. It's not the end of the world, but then I got to thinking, you know what's gonna happen? Okay, my character right now, um, she's she's got nothing. She's got some leg armor, but that's it. What's going to happen is I'm going to take that duct tape. I'm going to make the padded armor. And then because your loot stage is so damn high, I'm going to be like looting. I should turn my light on, man. I'll be like looting armor. Oh, baby. Mm, meat stew. Yeah, I'll be looting armor. Um, right after I craft that, I'm wasting the duct tape. So I don't know. I'm going to wait a bit. Let's, let's give the seven days that I gods the opportunity to give me what I need. Guys, look at his feet. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't even want to know how you got up there. Fuck. That's awkward. Looked funny though. Oh, I didn't even loot that. I must have looted the garbage by mistake. Hooded sweatshirt. I really hate wearing this damn thing. Now nah, I'll keep my, my original stuff on me. Should I take a sucky suck? Sure, why not? College jacket increases my run speed. Puffer coat, heat resist. Um, let's take the college jacket. Can I take my mod off of this? I'm not against the puffer thing, but if I could just run a little bit faster from anything trying to eat my asshole, I think that's a, I think that's a good call. It's been a good day, guys. We're having good... <gasps> fine. Nobody panic. Not a single panic. Where the fuck am I stuck in this hole? It's gonna say we're having some good days here in the wasteland. Back to back. Feeling like a friggin pro. I know things get, yeah, things get stupid in here. Look at that guy. How many of these can I just get right now? One. Is there anyone in here? I can't remember. Ah, fuck. I can't shoot that with an arrow. All right, let's see if I can get Kenny and then we'll get zombie Gary. I feel like he's gonna take more than one shot. Oh, 
he did not. <laughs> we did it. Oh, God. I'm feeling like an exceptional pro at this game. Look at his little dangly bits. They're jiggling around down there. Uh, by the way, this is the PY that you have to, like, dig yourself out. It's too bad this wasn't all, like, clay. I feel like this is clay, though. I feel like you, when you're in the wasteland, you need to take any opportunity to dig up clay. All right, yeah, that gets boring quick. Uh, I'll grab my arrow. Let's see what we have. Where's the end loot? Is, oh, it's right here. Derp. Okay, let's check out what our end loot is. Get some ammo. We got another meat stew. Man, am I regretting putting points into this already? And we have, what is this? An arrow rest mod. I'm obviously I could probably put that on my bow. What does that do? Range damage. I guess it maybe steadies your arrow, which would kind of make sense. Okay, we got an actual hunting rifle with 64 damage. God, if this was PvP, I'd use it to shoot Jen. I have a Ranger's Guide to Archery, 20% greater chance of knocking on target. I already have that one. But because Jen and I are on the same map. We can actually sell each other stuff. So what I might do is take that book to the vending machine, jack up the price a ridiculous amount, and put it in the vending machine for Jen to buy, and then give me money. AK-47! Oh, baby. Life is so good right now. It's, it's so good to me. Okay, so we didn't find any armor. Not a big deal. Let's dig our way out of this POI and head to Jen. Return some stuff. I'm going to steal one of those slobbery... I feel like I heard a dog, so I just want to get my weapon out. Um, I want to steal one of those vending machines. Put that book in. See if I can take Jen for all he's worth, if you know what I mean. All right, player vending machines. I assume this is how you use it. I'm going to use the one closest to the door for easy access. Um, how do I put stuff in it? Take all, collect, rent. Cost, 250,000 game times. This allows you to rent a vending machine for a single game month. The time displayed will be shown in real-time units. I have to rent the vending machine? What the fuck? I, I didn't know that. I thought you just get a vending machine. All right, I guess we have to save up some money so Don't we can rent it. Okay, got another job. Uh, I'm very encumbered and I have a steroid right now kind of keeping me um, sustained. I'm going to go use whatever wood slash cobblestone I have on me to upgrade what's here on my very small base. I wonder if I should put it like a spike pit ditch around this or something just to keep it. I don't know. I feel like this isn't level ground and I'm risking the zombies not pathing properly. Oh, look, perfect timing, guys. We have what I think is like a little mini horde. Um, I don't know if this base is going to work because I feel like I can jump up from right here. All right, let's science this. What are you going to do? You're going to jump up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. We're probably going to need to build like a ditch or something. Okay, friends, thank you for helping me science my base. You may die now. Okay, so clearly the base needs some work. Oh, we have more zombies coming in. Yeah, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to dig like some kind of pit around or flatten it out or something. Because they're just jumping. Can I flatten it like by putting blocks down or no? No, I'm going to have to like dig around and make some kind of pit or something. All right, that's fine. We have a few more zombies. I don't know if they're coming my way or what. Uh, Mr. Fun, are you interested? You ready for a little daffy spear poking time? We are out of cobblestone. We are out of wood. Uh, our base is looking <laughs> a little rough. But let's head home and unload. I don't want to be super encumbered. And we'll go do that next POI. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to build some kind of ditch around that base. So, I mean, well, we've got the rest of today. We've got most of tomorrow. And I don't mind spending a good chunk of the day working on the base. So, because the Horde Knights usually take up some time. So, it's okay to spend a little bit of time doing the grindy grind. I've got some bandages and put them on my hopper because I realized I didn't have any. And that's, you know, that's not very professional of me. Uh, let's head out again. I don't have any more resources to upgrade the base. I'm going to go do that quest super quick. And then we'll probably chop some trees down, get some wood. It's days like today where I wish I was back in that old west town. Because those little wood piles are like the best way to get wood. Like, you guys were not kidding when you recommended that. Okay, I think maybe this is the house I've done recently. Because the dogs are going to come. They're going to run. Rough, rough, rough. Then they're going to blow up. At least one. Oh, did we get both of them at the same time? Ugh, super nice. All right, yeah, I feel like I've done this POI very recently. Um, 
nonetheless, whatever. Jed wants us to get her done. I am going to mark it on my map so I don't make that mistake again. It's not that there's anything wrong with do. Oh, that looks awful. There's nothing wrong with doing the same POI over and over again. I just, you know, I like the variety. So it's just really a personal choice. I get a little kind of like cross-eyed doing the same things again and again. Pump shotgun schematic. Thank you very much. I don't ever make the schematics, but I guess it's good I have it in case I remember one day that I can make a pump shotgun if I need it. I don't know exactly how many zombies I've woken up, and I don't know if that noise is coming from inside the building or outside the building. Ooh, look at this steak and potato. See, I'm regretting spending this point already, guys. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I should have followed my gut. Did you guys hear that? I'm having PTSD, is that a bear? <gasps> okay, it's fine, it's just a zombie. Holy fuck, I thought it was a bear. I, th I could have sworn I heard a bear. All right, I knew I woke those guys up. You know what's handy? I was keeping an eye on the little red circles on the uh, compass there, and then they started moving, and I was like, fuck yeah. Not surprising me, you bitches are awake. The end loot is in there. And I see you. Oh, big daddy. I see you. I'm going to drive this arrow right in the tip of your head. <laughs> ah, give good head. What can I say? All right, here we go. Let's crack them open and see what we got. Oh, baby. Cement mixer. Thank you very much. So I think I found a forge schematic, a cement mixer schematic, urban combat. When sneaking, you always land silently. Oh, yeah. I'll take that, too. Uh, that was a pretty slobbery haul. Just to get uh, that schematic was kind of exciting. I think all I really need oh, is the workbench schematic and the chemistry station, and then I'll have them all. I am going to take a second and beat the shit out of this just to see what's inside. Okay, we snack snacked it. Such a snack. Apparently that's like a, a kid saying for like you're a hottie or something like that. That's how I know I'm old because I've never been described as a snack before. Okay, we have a uh, Gravedigger mod schematic I'll never use and shotgun shells. Perfect. Uh, I thought I saw, yes, I did. Keys. Um, I'm going to go quick and just loot the area and probably chop down those trees because we do need wood. I have no wrench, so I can't exactly do any wrenchy scrunching. This POI, by the way, guys, is a great source of clay as well. I think this is usually in the desert. because so I feel like I remember playing in the desert on Naviscane and needing clay and being like, oh, snap. There's some lovely dirt blocks that you can kind of dig up. Well Batter up volume one. Do 10% more damage with clubs or a helmet light mod. Uh, did I already pay penance for my helmet light? I can't remember. Uh, fuck it. If I can't remember, I'm going to say I did. Do 10% more damage. Uh, fuck. I, I, whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's grab another quest of Rooney from her. Have I done this oh, one I yet? You, but, um, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, Pop no, it looks like I haven't. Ooh, look at that water. Almost was wondering if there was water here. Okay, so it's 19 o'clock. I am encumbered, and that could be risky uh, as I don't have any steroids to take. So as much as I want to work on my base, I need to go home and unload, and then maybe we'll come back, do a little bit of upgrading before the night hits. Why am I poking you with a bone knife? Some people were worried that by Jen and I kind of combining the map together that our gameplays would be corrupt. And I mean, I would try not to worry too much about that. It's all in good fun. I mean, there's plenty of people who play this game on a server with other people. Like, we're not going to sit here and be like, oh, babe, make me a level million pickaxe and etc. But it's not really going to take away from his epic game. There's really... There's not much I could do to take away from his epic gameplay, in all honesty. So I really would not stress about the video's gameplay styles being corrupt. There's still plenty of differences, especially since his settings are so damn hard. <gasps> Bear! Ugh, shudder. Oh, man. Oh, no way. I'm almost feeling kind of pro, you know? Like, maybe I should jack up my settings a bit, because I have not died in a few days. I'm like... Oh, that's awkward. I'm like doing some serious epic gameplay. Like I'm even surprising myself. Okay, I'm going to make myself some armor. Fuck it. What do I need? I have... Is that considered armor? The helmet? I don't know. I've got legs or feet, so I need legs. 
uh, arms. Let's see how much of this I can make. I'm going to make some chest armor, padded gloves, uh, and padded leg armor. I feel like I'm not going to change up what I'm wearing on my head. Again, I have no idea if that's the best way to do stuff, but I gave myself an entire day and we did not find any sort of armor. So, I mean, this is what we've got. Let me see. Do I have any mods to throw on that? Where's my mods? Here they are. I think I can put the bandolier mod on. And also, it was suggested to me in the comments to put the serrated blade mod on my spear. I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I didn't think that was a thing. I think it's on here, too. I've been finding these, like, every other day. So, I'm going to go ahead and mod both of my spears up. Another thing I should be able to do is I think I can make an iron spear. Spear? Uh, I just need forged iron. So maybe we should start kind of pumping out a bit of forged iron there. What do I need? Iron and clay. and throw that back in. And then maybe we can make two iron spears uh, for tomorrow. Or at least one. I kind of want two because I like to alternate between them. I don't want to be like, oh, this is my throwaway spear and this is my keep spear. I just want them both to be... Kind of like one I use all the time, and then the other I use occasionally. Let me grab my cobbly cobblestone here. Okay, we're back here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade again as much as I can. And then I really don't know how much time I'm going to have in the evening to kind of work on the pit. We might have to get the bulk of that done tomorrow. Which means the most of the day tomorrow is going to be building a base. Because I doubt there's really much I can do here overnight. Like it just won't be safe. I'm gonna take a zombie killing break. Did that get him? No. God, I wish I was so good, better at arrows. No, one more. We'll do one more for posterity. He's not moving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. All right, I've pretty much upgraded all I can. I'm out of wood already, but man, we're gonna have to spend a good chunk of tomorrow digging this out. I'm not sure if I want it to be a too wide gap. Dirty. Or if I want it to be a one wide gap. But nonetheless, we need a gap. We don't need to make it pretty today. Like we can just use stone and throw some spears in it. Or spears, some spikes. Never have too many spikes, honestly. Because I feel like the day seven horde, especially since I've died a few times, isn't going to be like that bad. I mean, I could be, you know, regretting saying that because we are in the wasteland. And I've never done a horde in the wasteland. And I don't know how stupid it's going to get. I also have no idea if this floating base is going to work. Side note, if my base shits the bed, mm -hmm, maybe I'll just jump over to Jen's base and use his. I don't know if that's like legit, but hey, if I survive, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. I will be ending the video here, guys. It's about to hit nighttime. If you liked it, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel, and I will check you guys out for day six, because I know you like to be checked out. See you then, guys.